What up everyone? We are on our way to 100,000 subscribers here on the Sweets Kendama's YouTube channel. And we realize that a lot of you who watch the videos don't subscribe. So before this video, please go hit that red button and help us reach our goal. What up everybody? How's it going? Matt Sweets here, back in the studio for another tutorial session. Now you may notice that the lighting looks a little bit different here in 2020. That is because me and Coop upgraded the studio. We wanted to make sure that we could give you the best tutorial experience we could in 2020. So here we are. If you like it, give us a comment. We want to know what you think about our new lighting because we are hyped. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the Underbird turntable. To do this trick, you're going to really need to have turntable honed in. I'm going to do it one time here real quick and then we're going to break it down and learn how to do this bad boy. So it is a difficult trick with a lot of precision involved, but we're about to learn. So here we go. First thing we want to learn is the grip. Instead of a normal turntable where you want to put your finger in the middle of the cup, for this one we're going to want to put it on the bottom edge of the small cup, okay? And when this thing's sitting in underbird, it's going to be sitting at a weird angle. And if you put it in the middle of the cup, it's going to fall off most of the time. Putting it on the edge really helps your finger grip and helps it keep on that axis that it needs to be in order to stay up. So first step, put our finger in the bottom. Second, we got to get it up to underbird. And now with this underbird trick, one of the biggest things is making sure that your fingers do not touch the tama. It is not easy. It is one of the hardest parts of the trick. And if you feel it touch, just restart and give it another go. Also, licking the bevel on this trick definitely helps a lot. I don't usually recommend that in tutorials, but this trick is just a difficult one where any amount of friction you can get really helps. And licking the bevel on this trick is going to help. So, just like a turntable, we need to load it up and then we give it a quick spin. Now, you may notice that for my turntable, I'm spinning it counterclockwise which is not the normal way to do a turntable. It's just the way it feels most normal to me, and so that's the way I do it. If you feel like the other way is best for you, please feel free to use your thumb and push it clockwise. It works both ways. Just for me, this trick is difficult, and counterclockwise lets me do it the easiest and the quickest, so that's the way I'm showing you. So we're gonna load up our underbird, we're gonna give it a nice easy spin, and then grab it right below the tama without touching it to complete the trick. Now from here, you gotta try to get it to spike. I always like to spin it one time because I like to see the hole as it rotates. You can do it however way you wish. If you get that far, consider yourself accomplished because it is not an easy trick to pull off. There are very few pros in the world who do this trick regularly and are really, really good at it. Uh, Madi from Sulab is insane. He's done like Quint Underbird turntables, so go check him out for more tips and advice on how to do this trick good. If you like this video, make sure you go and comment below and give us another trick to do next week. Uh, as always, please go and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Me and Coop are working on getting to 100K this year, so help us get there and hit that red button. We will see you next time for the next tutorial. Thanks for tuning in as always. Peace. Thanks a lot for tuning in and checking out our videos. Make sure you go and smash that subscribe button right there. We need all the subscribers we can get. Also, you can shop right here. Go to Sweet Kanamas and get yourself a new Dama. Check out one of the most recent videos we've made or go back to your playlist and start learning another trick in your difficulty. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time. Peace.